This video is about the conduction system of the heart. And what I mean by the conduction system, first of all, is that the heart creates electricity. It generates electricity. It, it uh, makes a, an electrical impulse. And that electrical impulse is conducted throughout the, the heart. And it's that electrical impulse that is actually what makes the heart contract. So that's what I mean by conduction system of the heart or electrical system of the heart. And it all starts with the SA node. The SA node is considered the pacemaker, the natural pacemaker of the heart. And that's where the electrical impulse originates. That's where it begins. That's where it's created. From there, the electrical impulse uh, travels to the AV node. So we start with the SA node. It then goes to the AV node, which is here. And the purpose uh, of the AV node is to delay the electrical signal for just a fraction of a second. Uh, and what that does is it allows the ventricles to completely fill with blood. From the AV node, the signal goes to the bundle of his. Or it sometimes is referred to as the AV bundle. Now this structure is not uh, labeled on this diagram, but it's this structure right here that travels um, in, within the septum. So that is the AV bundle or the bundle of his. From there, the uh, signal, the electrical signal or electrical impulse travels to the right bundle branch and the left bundle branch. From the right and left bundle branch, it travels to the Purkinje fibers. I better look to see, I always spell that P-U-R-K-I-N-J-I-E. Here they're kind of labeled the conduction pathways, but that is the Purkinje fibers. So again, it starts at the SA node, goes to the AV node, then to the bundle of his, or the AV bundle. Then it travels to the right and left bundle branch, and then from there to the Purkinje fibers. And that is the electrical system or conduction system of the heart. Okay, so that electricity that is created by the heart uh, is, de is able to be detected by electrodes. And that's the job of an EKG machine, or ECG. So EKG is the same as an ECG. Okay, those are the same. Um, EKG is the same as an ECG, electrocardiogram. Some countries spell cardiogram with a K, so that's what that's where we get that. But that's the same thing, ECG or EKG. So here we have um, just a normal waveform, and so this is representing the electrical activity of the heart, and so the EKG's job, or the EKG machine's job, is to uh, detect that electricity and to create a waveform out of it. And so here we have just a, a typical normal uh, waveform. So first we have the P wave, and that represents atrial contraction. Then we have the QRS complex. The Q is the first downward deflection after the P. Then you have the R, which is the tall upward deflection, and then the S. So the QRS complex, that represents ventricular uh, depolarization, which causes ventricular contraction. Then you have the T wave, uh, which represents ventricular relaxation or ventricular repolarization. So here we have um, a typical EKG strip, and the best way uh, to, to start learning uh, what these uh, waves are is, again, by practice. So You'll just take a, a normal strip and start labeling the major uh, parts of the wave. So P, Q, R, S, T. 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 P, Q, R, 
S T and so on and so forth. So that's the best way to do it is just to um, look at strips, look at them often, look at lots of them, and to you'll just want to start out by uh, identifying the P Q R S T P Q R S T P Q R S T and just go over and over and over it, um, and that's the the way to to begin recognizing a normal EKG.